Hello there, my name is Obed Jerry, your co-host for today. And this is the CIA Corner where we bring to you trending topics, commentaries, investigations, and in-depth analysis on top care issues making rounds on the papers. And lest I forget, happy Children's Day to everyone out there, even to you adults, because you are still children to your parents. Happy Children's Day to our children and everyone in this planet Earth. Well, you know how we do it. Here we discuss trending issues. And if you have anything to add to it, please interact with us in the comment section. Of course, we'd like to see your reactions as regards what is being discussed here. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification button also and connect with us across all our social media platforms. So that when we drop videos like this, you get to receive our notifications consecutively. Now today, let's look into the health aspect. This is Econ Environmental Health Council of Nigeria is coming out to plead with Nigerians that they should stop patronizing the black market. Black market petrol, black market kerosene, black market diesel as because it is hazardous to our health. Well, let's go for a very quick break. When we come back, we we'll look into the story properly. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back from that very quick break. Like I was saying, it's about this health aspect. And we know in Nigeria here, most of us do not care so much about our health. Like 60 to 70 percent of the populace do not bother about our health. We only bother about what to eat and how to stay alive without bothering about how to stay healthy. Most of the times you pass different areas, different vicinities, you would see them burning stuffs, burning waste bin, burning plastics, and all what's not. Sometimes you go into different areas, especially during festive periods, and you see them burning tires and all other tubes that causes a hazard to our health. And you know, this smoke that comes out from this bed is black and it is very harmful to our health but most persons either they do not know or they do not care or because of what they want to achieve so they do not bother about um, taking the right procedures to doing these things now um, we've been buying black market for a very long time. It's not today. It is not last year. It is not last 10 years that the black market business on the petroleum angle started in Nigeria. And we could see maybe because of the affordability of it compared to the normal petrol price, most persons prefer buying this black market because it is more affordable. Let's say if the petrol price is around 800 naira, this black market would be around four to 500 naira. So it will save them that cost of instead of having 10 liters of this normal petrol they would have 20 liters of this black market petrol now the environmental health council of nigeria econ is coming out to plead with nigerians to urge nigerians to stop patronizing this black market petrol because of the harmfulness of these black markets on our health saying that when you are trying to okay save costs please know that you are harming your health indirectly you will still spend that cost that you are trying to save on your health because when you inhale these um, black smokes and all whatnot it would affect your health and you would end up still spending money to recover so what is the essence of now wanting to save this cost if it would affect your health but it would be a very hard thing for nigerians to stop patronizing black markets when petrol was around 200 to 250 during the um, Buhari's administration, people were still patronizing black market, especially in oil rich states like river states, delta states, and all other states that are blessed with oil. We could see in it, some like in river state here, it's called this coal fire thing where the um, they do, do bunkers, extract petrol, mix it, and try to make it. Um, increase in quantity, thereby mixing substances that are harmful to the health. And like the Econ president said, that this um, black market petrol contains a high level of sulfur, and this sulfur is very, very harm harmful to our health. But um, notwithstanding, we know that it is not something that Nigerians would stop at the, at a very uh, minimal level for the period being. We know that petrol price is very, very high and the removal of subsidy has had a very huge ripple effect on businesses. So if they see these measures on how to get this petrol and run their day-to-day -day businesses at an affordable amount, they would not hesitate to patronize these issues. So while the um, Aircon, the Environmental Health Commission of 
of Nigeria is beckoning on Nigerians to stop this black market patronization. They should also beckon on the federal government to, because it's a two-way thing, if the federal government would help on their angle, the Nigerians will help on their angle also. Because if petrol price drops drastically to about 400 to 500 now, I doubt if the patronage of that black market petrol would be on a high level as it is now. Some persons will say, um, because I buy petrol as, at a huge level and I don't make much income. So the federal government is talking about the construction and the day-to-day -day running of our local refineries, the Dangote refineries, the Portacourt refineries, and even um, one other refinery. If these refineries are working hail and heartily, if they are functioning, if they are selling petrol as, um, at a dropped price, these persons would not want to um, patronize this black market and take um, River State Port Harcourt, to be precise for an example. Most persons in Port Harcourt, aside these ones in the urban area, most persons patronize this coal fire petrol and coal fire kerosene because it is very affordable. How would you come to the streets and now tell this um, local um retailers that do businesses that run their day-to-day -day little store and that is that and they make use of petrol and you are telling them now okay this is harmful to your health don't do this they will tell you okay i have been using this for um, over 20 years and nothing has happened to me it's the normal um sickness the wear and tear that i go through the stresses that i go through every day that is what i go through every day so you are not no um, amount of conviction would make me stop patronizing this coal fire so if the federal government plays their own part by making the petrol price drop drastically these persons would see reasons as to why this um, petrol is harmful if you bring out your car let's say you bring out your car your personal car and run around the streets of Port for like 30 to 40 minutes and then you park you check out the dust that has been uh, clinched on your vehicle you see that it is a, a black dust and it's not supposed to be so that is to show you that the air that we breathe is is not how it's supposed to be the oxygen is not completely um oxygen so that is why it is harmful for the health and this environmental health um commission of nigeria is really doing a great job by sensitizing the people but they should do more sensitization create more awareness and go into this environment to inform people as about the implications of using this black market petrol and the federal government on the other hand should also play their own role by looking for ways to bring down the price of petrol so that these people would see that it is affordable for them and see reasons as to why they should not be using the black market petrol. All right, this is where we draw our curtains for today. Please drop your comments in the comment section, your suggestions, your opinions, and your thoughts as regards this thing that we discussed here. My name is Ubert Jerry, your co-host for today. I'll see you next time.